I just can't believe this is $600. What? <laughs> La Mer. Is it made with vibranium? Does it come with Michael B. Jordan? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie O. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I've literally just wanted to try as many expensive, bougie skincare products as possible in one video. So I recently went to this launch for La Mer. I don't have anything from La Mer. And they just kind of like reignited that flame. After I left the event, they gave me a goodie bag with a bunch of stuff. I was looking at the prices. I was a little shooketh, shookington, shook Beth, you know, shook a spear. So I was kind of like, I think this is kind of like God's way of telling me, do the video, Jackie, do the video. I made a quick mall run and I picked up a couple things for this video. So I'm on my way to Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm going to literally buy the most expensive bougie skincare I can find. And we'll be trying it out in today's video. I will see you later, my dear. I will I'm be good. back shortly. I'll see you later, babes. See you in a bit. Have fun. Babes, honestly, you're going to be tempted to try This skincare is going to be nice. You're okay. going to be so tempted. Uh, okay, I'll try it for you. You become a skincare snob. Uh, I'll try it for you. Okay. Okay, okay boo. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hold on. I got to start this motherfucking record over again. Wait a minute. Never the things you say. more or less just about having fun not really about taking skincare serious i mean how many times do we go to a counter and just we have no intentions of buying stuff but we just try it anyway you know like there's just something fun about trying luxury items sometimes and you know it doesn't have to be taken so serious all the time now wait a minute you spending all this money you got me walking down these stairs i think the hell not barney's we're gonna try to find the most expensive thing we can look for Oh, Migos, excuse me. La Mer. Let's find Sisley. Okay, so now there's this brand called Pledipu. I'm gonna see if there's some skincare. Hi, is this, is this uh, skincare or only makeup? Uh, we have both, skincare and makeup. Okay, what's the most expensive thing you carry? It's this screen here. It's for a project. <laughs> yes, and it's a thousand. Whoa. Okay, this one here. And how much is it? That one is 500. I'm gonna do a little brush yes. and then a little powder. Take it. So now we're looking at a brand called Revive. I've never, I think I've heard of them once. But we're looking for a serum. What's my damage? 14, 14, 70. Oh. So now I have everything and we're literally just gonna go through step by step. I will be definitely talking about like actual benefits of the products because I do believe like if you're going to spend that much money, the products gotta do something. I mean, who doesn't like luxury stuff? You know, it's about the experience. It's not necessarily about trying to be pretentious or anything like that. So try not to take this video as like a personal attack on the things that you use and and this don't don't take this as me saying that you have to use all of this stuff whether or not you think it's worth it or not you be the judge this is the lancome absolute rose I'm, I'm touching it like this because if it drops if it gets any ounce of oxygen carbon monoxide asbestos on it i'm demanding a refund and i'm even buy this okay i got this they sent it to me ultimate mask rose pearls from their absolute leg stretch line <laughs> absolute precious cells revitalizing rose face mask is an opulent gel face mask infused with genuine rose petals it's supposed to plump it's supposed to hydrate the skin moisturize and you get one fluid ounce for four hundred dollars <coughs> oh excuse me <clears throat> four hundred twenty dollars four hundred twenty dollars four hundred and twenty Chew on that AdSense. As a matter of fact, I might insert an advertisement right here just to pay for the mask. They give you a mixing dish. They give you a spoon. Also works great with pho, just saying. You're supposed to mix the rose petal mask with the serums that come underneath. It's actually kind of cool because it gives you like, like I feel like I'm a facialist at home. You know, it's all, that luxury is all about the experience, you know? Each of these is good for one mask. So you wanna squirt, squirt all of that into the dish. 
all the whole thing and you know I'll be squeezing. You know I'll be squeezing the hell out of this one too. This isn't my first time on this rodeo. I have used this mask before. I'm gonna give you my pros and cons as I go. And then here's what the rose mask looks like before you mix. It kind of looks like pink pearly escargot. It's pretty. She's cute. So you're gonna take your little pho spoon and one spoonful. And then to activate it, you have to mix this up. This the most cooking you'll see me doing this week is me stirring up this mask. In the kitchen wrist twisted like a stir fry. In the kitchen wrist twisted like a stir fry. I love the way my creation smells. I've added notes of garlic and turmeric. I'm gonna take my little elf spatula because I don't see why not. You know, like don't judge. And I'm just gonna apply it straight onto my skin. You know, this mask just, you know, it just looks, it has a very interesting look to it, you know? Um, I'm not gonna take it there and, you know, keep it cute in the comments, but I'm just gonna say, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that. You know, she's a Christian, so she's trying to keep it PG. So with my elf spatula, it just feels, it almost kind of feels like you're applying moisturizer to your face. But let me tell you something, for $420, if you don't put me in a new tax bracket and make my butt bigger for $420, I have issue. It's very luxurious, very luxurious, darling. And it's a, did you make my ski appointment? Oh, I almost dropped it! I just feel like I should be in Aspen while applying this. If this gets in my nose, I am calling the police. They actually recommend using this for your neck and degletage. While this mask is cooking and marinating and slowly decreasing my tax bracket. I'm gonna take these Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Eye Mask. Okay, the only reason why, and don't get me wrong, I do like Estee skincare, Estee girl. God bless you girl, you the homie or whatever. The only reason why I purchased these is because I was traveling and you know how they have like duty free shopping and stuff. That particular morning I was really drowsy and I forgot to stick a couple of my Skin Iceland eye patches in my purse like I normally do. So your girl got a little desperate. Just trying to freshen up, you know? All you need is an eye patch and two cloth. So needless to say, I dropped the ball. I forgot them. So I had to pick up these in a pinch. So you just push it up. There we go. And then let it submerge all in the eye patches. Just rub it all in there, marinate it. A pack of four of these will run you $46. So you mean to tell me in order for me to look refreshed, in order for me to look like I studied for my SATs, which I didn't, that's beside the point. Professor. In order for me to do that, I gotta spend $11 a day? I'm gonna just start drinking coffee because this is ridiculous. Cause I feel like I don't deserve that. I feel like I deserve better than that. I do like the fact that it, it's got a serum because it, it makes me feel like there's nourishment. There's just a lot happening. And you know what? The fun part is when I get to answer the door when Postmates comes or like when UPS or FedEx or <laughs> the FBI, whoever's at the door. You know, you just got this situation going on and you know I don't care. I'll be in the middle of baking, not in the kitchen on my face. I'll be in the middle of doing a, a freaking wash and go. Hey, you came to my house. You interrupted my routine. You gonna get whatever you get. I'm just saying. You don't have to rinse this off because it's a serum. You just kind of like pat it into the eye. Do I think they hydrate and brighten the eyes? I actually do. I follow some estheticians that are on Twitter. I love when they tweet little gems every day because I learn so much stuff. So basically when asked about dark circles, LA beauty specialist says, dark circles aren't caused by hyperpigmentation slash inflammation responses like darkness the rest of the body, like acne scarring, you know, dark marks. It's lack of moisture and circulation. So I do feel like an eye patch that has some type of like serum is gonna help just like reinforce the moisture in your eye. <sighs> Just gonna wipe that off. My skin does feel really plump. It's been a while since I've used that mask, like maybe four or five months. I don't remember my skin looking this plump. What do you guys think? Am I hydrated? <gasps> Am I plump yet? I feel like that $420 mask is a good mask, but I do feel like I have other masks in my arsenal that give me the same results for like a fraction of the price. And this is coming from somebody who does not mind dropping racks on some skincare. When it comes to stuff like that, I always say like, if you have the money to splurge, then buy the product. If you don't, 
then don't buy the product. So most people usually follow their face mask or their face wash routine with a toner. But if you are a skincare freak like me, or if you're just Korean, cause we all know the 10 step Korean skincare is popping. I remember the first time I heard about the 10 step Korean skincare routine and I was like, what is that? I gotta know, I gotta know right now. And then come to find out, I was like low key already doing that. The only thing that I wasn't doing is I wasn't using an essence. So an essence is something that you use after a toner, an essence nourishes and hydrates the skin. And they say whatever you put on top of an essence will like work better. Like it's supposed to enhance your product. I have this $179 essence from Ski2. I don't know if it's SK2 or Ski, SK, I don't, I don't know. But whatever you are, you're $179. Will this trim my ends? Like, will it make me a British citizen? Do I get a passport with this essence? I'm just gonna put this on one of my Shiseido <laughs> cotton pads. Fancy, schmancy, non-regular, regular, schmegular. This is supposed to combat dullness and uneven texture in the skin. I know a couple estheticians that swear by SK2. This is the essence that I'm using now. It's from Fresh. I got this product like, early January when it first launched. It was literally like the first week of January. And I've been using it every single day, day and night since I first got it. Okay, so this is five fluid ounces and this is just under eight fluid ounces. So I don't know, maybe the glass is playing some trickery on my eyes or something, but this one better last me a long periodically time. I actually purchased this eye contour mask because Jen M, I love her to death. She told me to get this product. She recommended it. She spoke very highly of it. It's not an eye cream. You're supposed to apply, they say, a thick layer underneath the eye for 10 minutes. And it's supposed to plump, decrease dark circles. It's also supposed to get rid of fine lines, which I don't really feel like I have. Like, I, I don't, I honestly, do they mean wrinkles when they say fine lines? Like, I don't think I have that, so I don't know. I went out and got it just because I wanted to try it. It was, it's $145. And as you can see, it's really not that big. But if you consider like the products that you use around your eyes, you don't use a ton of them in general. So it could last you potentially a really long time. Girl, I don't know. I just really don't feel like she was the girl for me. I've never felt like I've gotten phenomenal results using this product. While that sits, I'm gonna apply my serum. So this one is my hyaluronic acid. Compared to the stuff that we're using today, this one is. Pennies, okay. Oily skin, what's that? Never met her, never experienced that emotion. Can't relate to it whatsoever. When I use this hyaluronic acid serum, it's actually a copper complex peptide. It's definitely a lot different compared to other hyaluronic acids I've used. This is like for real, for real in my skincare routine. Stop telling people that the ones from CVS do the same thing. I'm sorry, but they just don't. And I understand like not everybody has the coins to drop on an $80 serum. I trust me, I am not expecting you to. But to say that something that an esthetician formulated does the same thing as like something from CVS is like really a stretch and it's just not accurate. And like, we just don't want to like not share accurate information. We just, it's just like not even ethical. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense to do that. I'm just trying to educate and I'm just trying to like give you as many facts as I possibly can. We're going to follow it up with something that I'm <laughs> really skeptical of. Mind you, the eye mask is still cooking. You do have to wipe this off in 10 minutes, so. This was what I picked up today earlier from um, Barney's, whatever they call it. It's the In Intensite Line Erasing Serum Revive Advanced Wrinkle Corrector. Now, they compared this to Botox in a bottle. And I don't feel like I need Botox, but if I was there yet, I don't know, maybe in like 15 years, you call me. I'm gonna give it a shot, I'm intrigued. This is a $600 serum. I thought she said it was $400. This potent serum dramatically softens the appearance of lines and wrinkles for natural looking facial rejuvenation. The targeted, Target. Clinical formula works instantly and over time to visibly firm and tighten skin, correcting the appearance of deep facial lines and wrinkles while preventing new damage. Skin will be luxuriously smooth and softened for a lifted, youthful, radiant future. Yes, yes, that's what kind of product description I would like to see for a $600 product. That's right, you better be talking about my future, my present, and my past. You better be paying for Kanye West's presidential election campaign. Like that's the type of thing that I'm looking for in a $600 serum. I use my hyaluronic acid first because you're supposed to apply your acids first and then everything else. I just can't believe this is $600, what? <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna start off with one pump. Okay, I'm lying. I did two pumps. It smells good. It absorbs really quickly. Hmm. I don't know if this is the girl for me because you know, I don't have lines or wrinkles. I have smile lines, but I don't think that's what they mean when they say lines. I'm gonna wipe off the eye mask with my bougie cotton pads. Normally I wouldn't advise pulling on the eye, but you know, you gotta wipe it off some way or another. So, and I feel like my under eye looks the same. Sisley, do you wanna talk about that, Sisley? This is insane. Like just looking up the price of each of these items and I'm just like, I, I, <laughs> like I too am triggered by these prices. This was the eye cream. It's actually supposed to be like an eye treatment. The Clé de Pou, Clé de Pou. Uh, I guess this is their Synactive line of products. It's supposed to be a six week eye care ritual. This will run you five racks. Wait, what is a rack? Is a rack a hundred or a thousand? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's $500. I guess you're supposed to use these once a week or something? There's also an eye cream and the eye cream is $1,000. I just need new eyes for $1,000. Like I need a new eye color for $1,000. You know what I will say? My under eyes do kind of feel good though. Like it feels really silky, really smooth. Oh, we're gonna have to report back. Okay, this next product is stressing me out. Like, I don't wanna get dragged. I don't want my YouTube channel to be deactivated. This is the Le Mer Moisturizing Cream. This is the product that inspired the entire video. As you can see, it's a pretty lengthy amount of product. I think it's really cute that they actually put my name in stones above. I think it's really cute. I wanted this type of cream where it's like a multi-use. Like, I can, can I use it on my ankles? Can I use it on my heels? Can I put it on my knees? This is 16.5 ounces and it's two grand. You heard that correctly, it was two grand. La Mer, is it made with vibranium? Does it come with Michael B. Jordan? The smallest size that they carry in their cream is one ounce and that's $180. But I feel like a tub this big would probably last you like a year. And it for damn sure as hell should. Not even six months, like this has to be a year's worth of cream because they say a little bit goes, that's what they say. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need a ton. You're supposed to like rub it in your hands first. It's supposed to be like this whole ritual. And I do get it. I think that, you know, like I said earlier, skincare is about the experience. Okay, so you're supposed to apply a small amount and warm the cream between your fingers to activate the broth. I just feel like I just rubbed it in all the way. She's thick, girl. This almost feels like an SPF. This smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. This is supposed to pours by. That's what it claims on the web. I'm just reading what the website says. Wrinkles are supposed to be less visible. Do you even see the difference in how I'm applying the product? Like that's when you know, that's when you know that luxury products have an effect on you. It's like a psychological thing. I mean, in order for me to confidently, confidently spend that much money on a moisturizer, I would have to have some type of extreme. Like it would have to be like something that treats eczema, I would have to just have like really dry skin and I'm just like fed up and this is the only thing that works for me and it just so happens to be two grand. There are so many amazing moisturizers out there on the market that, well, first of all, don't run out and buy any of these damn products if you don't have the money. Just don't do that at all. But I feel like moisturizer is one of those things that I don't think you have splurge on. I'm really enjoying applying this cream though. Like it feels really nice. It's just not going away. It's still in my skin. So I'm just pressing it in. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to get on my computer and see what this all added up to. $3,890. Almost four grand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, don't do it. Oh my God. Actually, the only thing that was given to me was the Lemaire, I think. <laughs> the, one, the one product. Everything else, sadly, I bought. Final thoughts for everybody out there feeling like I have to keep up with this. I have to obtain all of this to look good. You <laughs> absolutely do not. I mean, to me, it's kind of like buying handbags and shoes. I mean, there's some brands that get the job done for a much cheaper price. I do also feel like a lot of brands, and this is not the case with all of them, I'm not gonna speak for all brands, but I feel like a lot of retail skincare brands that are like super, super expensive cannot hold a candle to the stuff that you can get from an esthetician that's working with ingredients in their purest form. They're not watered down and then tripled, quadrupled in price to make a profit. Good skincare ingredients are not cheap. And contrary to what a lot of people believe, there aren't such thing, there are no such thing as dupes when it comes to skincare. No two products are gonna be the exact same. They may give you similar results, but who's to say that another person who tries those same two products could get the same result. I do think that these products were fun to play with and I will say, I was really impressed with the essence. I loved, loved the way that my skin felt after the essence. I would rather spend like $400 or $500 on like a treatment or like a chemical peel or a facial more than I would a one-off, something that's gonna like transform my skin in like 24 hours, more than I'd be willing to pay for a product that I would have to use, you know, weeks and even months to see it teensy bit of a result. And honestly, like I feel like my esthetician makes products that are really coming for the girls. Similar to what they do at like cosmetology schools. Like when I was in cosmetology school, we would have to practice on someone. So I would literally cut hair and, you know, color hair on people that were coming to my school, which was a Sassoon school. And they were getting like a $400, sometimes $500 treatment or, or procedure at the school for like seven so with esthetician school, it's the same thing. You know, it's students that are actively supervised. And I know that sounds kind of scary because you're like a student. I wouldn't want no damn student taking over my skin. Well, one, they would be supervised by someone who is licensed. And two, if they're a student, by the time they're in that phase, they will have enough knowledge and they will have already proven themselves worthy to start practicing on other people anyways. And also I feel like when you're a student and when you're doing something very, very early in your career, you're almost like 10 times more likely to be more careful because you are new and you're taking your studies more serious versus someone who, let's be real, sometimes people get really careless, they get lazy, you know, when they've been in the game for a long time, so they don't maybe put as much time as someone who is just starting out. So that's just my two cents and I don't know, a little money saving tip. Not everybody has Burke Williams coin. I do see the value in both lower price products and higher price products. I think it just depends on what you're looking for. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little fun, expensive, bougie skincare routine. If you came by and watched today, thank you. Shout out to you. Hopefully I'll see you guys on my next video, which I will conveniently place right here. Cause you know, I'll be looking out for y'all. I really do. I really do have your best interest at heart. I put the videos here for you so that they're easy to find. You don't have to look too far. They're right here. Might as well just click it.